Oh no, it happened again. What did? It doesn't <gasps> work. Oh. oh yeah, it isn't going to work. Too bad, it was looking so pretty. Sorry if I startled you. It's just my computer crashed again and it's really old. It's dying a little every day. I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. No, nothing. My computer. Look, never mind. I just didn't mean to scare you. Oh, it's all right. But Andre, I think it'd be a good idea for you to get a hobby. Something that can help you to... Uh, it's Clara. Uh, something that can help you be more... Hey, Clara, what on earth is all that noise? I'm trying to work here. More relaxed, no? Oh, come on! No, it's not here. Did you We're hear here. me, Clara? I need to finish this project There's for work. Oh. And all this racket's really distracting me, Clara. Clara? I'm sorry, Dad. I was just looking around for a book. And you need to turn your whole room upside down to do that? No, she hasn't turned it upside down. Clara's room has been like this for five days now. And I already told her I'm not going to fix it. Mom, I already said this is how I like to organize my room. If it's so organized, why can't you find your book? Baby, this is your responsibility. It's your bedroom and your belongings. That's right, Clara. Keeping your room clean is your responsibility. Do you see this here? This is so you remember to clean your room every single day. I'm tired of telling you. Ow! Dad, it's just a book. You're too stressed out. I think we need to get you something to help you to... Relax a bit? Hey, look! I just found the book that I was looking for! <laughs> Stick love, now you can start cleaning up this mess. Now's a great time to show us the responsible and mature young lady that I know you really are. Fine, I'll do it, I'll clean it. I've missed you so much, little Rosetta. Fabulous space. My gosh, this is so exciting. A camp just for math. Wow. Don't make fun of it, G. It's important to me. And it's not just a camp for studying math. Wait, it's worse? <gasps> a camp for math and for physics? No, it's a camp exclusively for math geniuses. A place where all of the best math students from all the schools across the country are taken there. You know something? It's my dream. But there's a test, and they say it's supposed to be super hard. Ah, uh, okay, but that should be a piece of cake for you, genius. Yeah, but after-school activities can also count towards earning points. Ah, well, then you're in luck. Tomorrow, the school's gonna announce all the extra classes they're adding. I know. Do you think we'll have chess? Or a level 5 programming class? Or maybe a class about string theory? Ugh, none of those, Valen. It says here that the point is to diversify, doing things you normally don't do. Mm, we're gonna start you with playing some soccer. <laughs> Catch that! I can get it! <laughs> <laughs> I wanna see if you're a good goalie. Uh, you and soccer don't go together, girl. I am done with this. I can't do it. I guess I just wasn't made for this. <laughs> you're right, Commander Valentina. Maybe poetry is more your style. Yeah? You think? That's awesome! I do it all the time, and I rhyme! <laughs> <laughs> oh. hmm. All right, this goes here. Organize, fold these clothes, you in the closet, this in the trash. Hmm, let's do this. It's beautiful, baby. Hmm, almost... What's that? I don't have a box to put these things away. Can I please have some money to buy a cute little box for them, Mom? Tomorrow I'll go to the store. Uh, hey, watch it. You could have hurt somebody. Aw, oh, but I didn't hurt you, right? Aw, oh, relax, buddy. Get yourself a nice bike like this and your life will be a lot more relaxed. Huh? Hmm. Ah! Oh, come on. What was that for? I scared you. I'm sorry. I just saw the cutest little thing of the cutest little things in the whole entire world. Me? Of course not. It's that adorable little dog. <laughs> Isn't he too cute? I want him. I want him for myself. I'm going to take him home. He's very cute. But your parents will never let you keep him, Clara. Oh, why wouldn't they? I'm going to ask them myself. 
Mm, I don't know. Having a dog is a lot of work. You have to take really good care of it. That's all right, huh? I'm fully capable of taking good care of something. He's way too cute, baby. He looks like he's trying to talk to us. And he is. He's trying to tell you, take me home, please. Please take me home. Oh, baby, when you decide you want something, you... I'm not the only one who wants it. He wants it, and so do you. Just look at his face, Mama. Oh, <laughs> he's just too cute. <laughs> Clara, you forgot this in front of the pet shop. What's that, baby? The box that I bought to store the things in my room. The box that I gave you money to buy? You left it in the street? Um, uh, anyway, Clara, I gotta go. I'm late for something. Uh, anything, actually. Bye! Yeah, I just forgot it. I'm sorry. But back to Ozzy. What Ozzy? Him, the dog. Baby, we can't get a dog. Even Ozzy, no. But you just fell in love with him over this picture, Mom. Until Giovanna showed up with a box you forgot. And that reminded me that you aren't even responsible enough to take care of your own room or your things, much less a living dog. But... Please, Mom. And there's this one. Great. Banjo class, level three. And then this one. Creative writing and poetry. And all these other ones right here. Valentina, it's great that you're taking extra classes, but don't you think you may be overdoing it? Uh, learning is never overdoing it. Variety is great. Mm, I don't know. I think it's quite a lot to handle, even for a girl like you. What's up, Dad? Is that a present? Yep. Well, then I'll open it. No, sweetheart. This gift is for me. For me, from me. And what did you give to yourself? A bicycle. A bicycle you have to put together? Yeah, that's the beauty of it. Weren't you and your mother telling me a few days ago that I needed to find a nice hobby for relaxing? That's right. Riding a bike is a pretty good hobby. And so's building yourself a bicycle. This goes right here, and now yes, this like this, and I think it's done. Well, it looks like you really know what you're doing. <laughs> 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 or not. Well, I think you're going to take some time to figure this all out. I'll be in my room. If you need anything, call me. What is this, Mom? Is it a present? Yeah. Oh, let me open it, Mom. Go on, baby, I open it. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. He's not even real. But he's still a pretty real-looking dog. You can take care of him through this phone app. I'll go ahead and put it on your phone. Mm-hmm. That's great. But you actually have to take care of him. If not, he'll die, baby. He'll die? But how? It's not even like he's a real dog. Ah, oh, I'm too late and I missed the surprise. What a shame. It's a test of your responsibility, baby. If everything goes well, your father and I may reconsider the idea of buying you a real living dog. That's right, but you have to take very good care of him. It's easy. You just have to follow the instructions on the app. But you have to take care of him all by yourself. We're not going to help you. Okay, that sounds really cool. Everything is written on your phone. You're going to have to walk him, make sure to feed him, and put him to bed. It's all right there. And I think you should start right now. Right now? I don't know what to do. Sweetheart, if you want a real dog, you need to know what to do with it. Hurry and go get your phone. Go ahead, sweetie. to clean the court. <sighs> Balls in their places. Uh... And then she said that she only wanted to buy two types of ribbons after she had been loitering here for three hours looking through them. <laughs> <laughs> Take this. <laughs> okay, three hours, huh? Interesting. Tell me more about that. Does he bite? No, G. He's a robot dog. Robo dog. Ah! A robot dog that barks. 
Max walks and eats. I bet he can even bite, too. No, he's really sweet and easy to deal with. And he's also my fastest ticket to Ozzy. Who? Oh, Ozzy. The cute real dog that I'm gonna get after I take really good care of this robo-dog. <laughs> well, it looks like the fake little doggy here is going a little crazy now. <gasps> I wonder what he wants. Uh-huh. It's bedtime. Wow, that was so fast. <laughs> That's awesome. So what do we do now? Wait until he wakes up. Well then, sometime later, I finally finished building a bicycle. Uh, that's awesome, Andre. You really did it. It took forever, but there was no stress. What are those pieces? Who knows? Spares? Extra pieces they sent, I'm sure. <laughs> that's great. I'm going to buy some ingredients for a new recipe I'm testing out. Be back soon. Ah, uh, 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 what a shame. Get that one, Gully! Uh, uh, do it again, I can get it. Then uh, here! Uh, uh, go. One more. Isn't it better to stop? You're obviously exhausted, Valen. Mm hmm? No, I can get it. Yeah, Valen, you've taken on too much. You don't need to be doing so many things. Math geniuses still need to be alive and awake in order to get into the mathematics camp, don't they? Ah, uh, again? It's my robo-dog. He needs some love and attention to keep living. And I promised to help my teacher put up some new material on the blackboard. A couple? That's a lot of material. <sighs> He wants more petting? Again? Oh, what a needy pet. Petting, petting, that's it. Hmm. Peepee, -pee, again? Oh. This robot is driving me crazy. I can't do it anymore. Uh, I'll help you. Walking dogs is one of the suggested activities that was listed for mathematical geniuses. Geez, I'm starting to think those geniuses are superheroes. What about the test, Valen? Did you already do it? Look, I'll pet him a little tomorrow. Valen can walk him, and we can do it together. Thank you, G. But let's keep this between us, okay? My parents keep insisting that I have to take care of this robo-dog by myself. Well, then we have to be careful. If they told you that, then... I don't know about this, Clara. They can get mad if they find out we're helping you. It'll be fine, guys. You guys are like my sisters. We're all family. They'll understand. Of course, G. I don't know what I would do without you guys. Come back here. <laughs> <laughs> and now it's done, all together, and with all of its pieces. <sighs> and now I have to deal with that stinking flat tire. I can figure this out. <sighs> there we go. <clears throat> huh. Oh, no. Math Geniuses Camp and Mission Test. Actually, this test looks pretty easy. Let's do it. <sighs> I actually really like seeing my little Clara take such great care of this little cute doggy. Robo Dog. Robo-dog? No, oh, you really should have picked out something a little cuter to call it, sweetie. Very soon, I think that we'll be able to have that conversation about getting you a real dog. <laughs> That's great, Mom. Hopefully we don't take too long so no one will buy Ozzy from the pet shop. Fine, I'll talk to your father. Now I need to go out for a second, but I'll be back very soon. Take 
take it. Then give him to G so he can get some petting. Thanks a lot, Balin. It's all good, Clara. You know that we're here to help you. Huh? What's going on? Oh, Clara, baby. What a disappointment. But why do you think it went bad? You've never done badly on a test. I don't know. I guess I wasn't paying enough attention and... So then you <gasps> called your friends to come and help you? <laughs> but, Dad, I thought it would be okay if they just helped out a little bit. But the rule was that you would do everything by yourself. Yeah, we were very clear. And now, you're not getting a real dog at all. No, just a few big dogs. Huh? You're gonna get me a dog even after all this? A big one? A couple of dogs? No, you're gonna walk Nalanda, Brutus, and Biggie, and some other dogs from the condominium every afternoon. What? But why? It's a lesson, sweetheart. A way for you to remember that you lied to us both and that you need to take responsibility for that. I already spoke to their owners, okay? Yeah, I have no choice, right? Everything's okay, Clara, but I don't think that this time we're gonna be able to help you. You're gonna have to walk those monsters all alone. Yeah, I know. <sighs> Moment of truth, ladies. Today, they'll be posting the results for the people chosen to attend the mathematics camp. Well, I'm sure that you made it in easily, Valen. <gasps> but I didn't. Why not? You did all the best extracurricular activities. But I failed the test. But you never do badly on tests. Well, the truth is that I didn't actually finish the test. I fell asleep. Well, next year you can take it again, right? Maybe next time you should listen to us and take easier activities. I told What's you that? you were overdoing it. Na na ni na no, na na ni I wanna see When I speak my mind, all the things that can be Na na ni na no, na na ni I wanna see When I speak my mind, all the things that can You told a lie, you just lied And I told you not to lie with your parents Now who knows how things will be I didn't lie, I didn't fib, I just forgot to tell them That my friends help me out with Robo's doggy, so tell them Na na ni na no, na na ni I wanna see When I speak my mind, all the things that can be Na na ni na no, na na ni I wanna see it's just the same as a lie, like if you purposely said it. Admit the fault is all yours, or you'll just fall where you're headed. Don't even change the subject, that's not even the point. Don't forget you fell asleep and failed your test, that's the point. No, 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 no. Stop it! Ladies, stop it! Stop it right now! You guys don't have to fight about this! Clara was very wrong when she abandoned her responsibility and asked us to take care of it. I guess her parents knew what they were doing when they decided to buy her that robo-dog. It was a test, and she failed it. Clara definitely needs to be more responsible with her things. But on the other hand, Valentina took on way too many responsibilities for a girl her age. All of that just to get into that math camp, even though we all warned her that it was too much. So much that she even passed out during the test. I'm just saying, everyone was wrong here. But you two don't need to fight about it, guys. That friendship you guys share was never on the line at any point in time, was it? You're right. I'm sorry, Clara. I was just mad about the whole camp situation. It's okay. I was also mad about everything that happened in my house. Still friends? Always. Glittering ball! I knew that you'd get this eventually. And it took a long time, but I feel much more That's relaxed. That's great! But you should be even more relaxed after you're done riding. Riding? What do you mean? Well, riding the bike, right? You spent all this time putting it together. <laughs> I don't know how to ride a bicycle. Didn't I ever tell you that? No way! I thought bike riding was the hobby you picked out so you could relax a bit. <laughs> no, building a bicycle was the hobby. <laughs> Aha, but we need to do something with it now that we've got it. <sighs> I was thinking, Valen. 
Why don't you just come with me to my Grandma Alexandra's house for the summer? Yeah? I just need to ask my parents. <laughs> we won't be talking about mathematics or physics at all. Come on. But we do have some great cornbread. Mm, delicious. And we've got homemade hot bread. Mmm, you sound like a salesperson. Is it fine if Clara comes too? <laughs> if she comes back safe and in one piece from walking those giant dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Glamour, wow, pose, pose, flash. I wanna go. 